Hey guys, so these are some of the reasons why they are continuously spraying the skies. They are attempting to hide Planet X and many other planets and moons that are accompanying it. They are also hiding other anomalies, such as portals and newly formed spheres, that are obviously not any kind of moons, planets, or anything that they have known of. They are also hiding a giant dark nebula that is coming, which you are about to find out in this video. But beloved, some of the things that are appearing up there, they have absolutely no idea what they are. Because Yah has hidden these things from even the smartest among them, and I've revealed it to his humble beloveds. And so perhaps this coming October, I will speak about this white sphere that many have been picking up on their cameras, but I have absolutely no idea what it is. But until then, please listen to the truth spoken by our beloved sister in Christ. Welcome to the final days. Today is March 6, 2019. Today we will be viewing solar eclipses, a helium-4 dark nebula full of opaque dust very near Earth, and an asteroid in a decaying orbit around Earth, none of which is discussed by mainstream media. The purpose of this channel is to show viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible, and to explain why this is actually good news and cause for celebration, explained later in this video. The images we are viewing were obtained over the past few days from the Federal Aviation Weather Cameras in Alaska and Canada. Each image is 10 minutes apart from the next, and they form a time-lapse video when strung together, such as the one playing now, taken from cameras in different locations throughout Alaska. The black dot in front of the sun is equipment that NASA launched hundreds, possibly thousands of miles from the Earth's surface. It casts a reflection upon the water, proving that it's not a camera or lighting issue, but it's an actual piece of equipment, and it's viewed from many different cameras. The reason we usually don't see the black dot from the lower 48 states is because our skies are heavily chemtrailed, and also we're at a different angle uh, compared to the equipment out there. This black dot equipment is capable of producing an enormous glare, hundreds of miles in diameter, possibly thousands of miles. It always tracks in perfect synchronization with the sun. So essentially, the circular glare is always between Earth and the sun, but much closer to the Earth, of course. Jesus is describing the last days in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 when he says that we will see these signs in the sky there is nothing special about this old video from portage glacier alaska a year ago the sun is seen passing behind a post the importance of these frames is that we are looking at the real sun notice how the sun passes behind a post and the post cannot hide the sun because the real sun is too large to be hidden behind a small post I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. You'll see in a moment why this is important. Here's an interesting sign in the sky, viewed from the west-facing camera in Burwash, in the Yukon Territory. We see what looks like the sun, but it's not. As it passes behind a thin post, it completely disappears from view. The reason this is happening is because the light source we are viewing is the glare produced by the black dot equipment that reflects upon the water surface. Where's the real sun? It is currently behind a dark nebula that we will be looking at in just a minute. To refresh your memory on the approximate size of the real sun, here is an inset of the real sun we just saw moments ago in Portage Glacier. The real sun could never be hidden behind a thin flagpole. We see this same phenomena occurring in Drumheller, Alberta in Canada. The light source is seen traveling across the sky and then it is completely hidden behind a tiny street light. Just to refresh your memory <clears throat> on the size of the sun again, here's an inset from Portage Glacier. The real sun could never disappear behind a street light. Now that you know how the manufactured light works, it will help you to understand the dark nebula we are viewing in this footage from the south-facing camera in Attawapiskat, Ontario in Canada. Notice how bright everything is as the sun rises over on the left. Then suddenly the sun appears to shrink to one-fifth its size.
That's because the real sun has just gone behind the dark nebula, and the manufactured glare is now in front of it. However, the artificial light is no match for the real sun because it almost looks like nighttime. The large triangles are used to obscure the image and are not produced from within the camera like a lens flare is. We know this because sometimes clouds are in front of the triangle. Clouds can never be in front of a camera produced lens flare. Eventually the real sun emerges from behind the nebula and the landscape suddenly brightens and the sun returns to its normal size again. Let's run through this again. The sun rises on the left. The landscape is bright. The sun suddenly shrinks to one-fifth its size, causing the landscape to darken as the real sun moves behind the uh, dark nebula. The manufactured glare moves across the sky in front of the helium-4 dark nebula. Notice the amazing texture of the nebula as the light moves across it. It would be wonderful to be able to get a closer look at this structure. The light passes over the nebula, tracking in perfect synchronization with the sun. The landscape suddenly brightens as the real sun emerges from behind the nebula and the sun resumes its normal size again. This is another biblical sign of the end of the age described by Jesus in the New Testament. A total eclipse is occurring here, viewed from the southeast facing weather camera located in Ugonic Bay, Alaska. At 10 a.m. the sun is coming up on the left. The black dot equipment emits a black beam in preparation for the eclipse. As the manufactured glare approaches the two orbs, it illuminates them. Technology is in place to blur these objects. Some contrast helps to see these two celestial objects. We know these cannot be lens flares because the manufactured light is actually reacting to these objects. Notice how the glare reaches out toward the orb. These objects are between the sun and the earth. Thus, when this eclipse occurs, the manufactured circular glare stays in front of the celestial object while the real sun passes behind it just like it did in the nebula we just saw a moment ago. This process successfully conceals a total eclipse. The enemies of Christ do not want you to know we are close to the end. They do not want you to turn your life over to Christ while there is still time. Information is at the end of this video that tells you how to turn your life over to Christ. The same thing is happening on the camera in Willow, Alaska. We know this cannot be a lens flare because the manufactured light once again reacts to it. Light can never react to a lens flare which is produced from within the camera. These are just more of the signs and wonders of the last days described by Jesus in the Bible. Who noticed in the daytime sky again with no clouds bright blue sky he notices a dark patch of sky when everything else is bright blue and this video is out of Pearl River Mississippi and it has some narration and here we go I don't know if you can see it in this video but it's darker right there, and the sun is shining. But it's dark. Right over there. I can only see it with sunglasses. Looking with the naked eye, you can't really see it. I wonder if this camera will pick it up. Now why does that look darker right there and it lights back up but it's dark right there in the spot ain't no clouds up there
Isn't that weird? Have you guys ever noticed that? And right there, you can clearly see it's a different color of blue. It's darker. And he noticed that in Mississippi. I also got video footage you just saw from right out here in Arizona. You can see the sky's clearly darker right there. And the sun's still out. And he noticed it too. And the sun was high in the sky over here to his left. And that patch of sky right there. And I inserted the, the video from Arizona right there. And you can see the, the dark anomaly there. And you can see the sky over here on the right. There, you can see it better right there. That same dark anomaly. Almost as if something's influencing the atmosphere creating that different shade of blue. Maybe something from the outside, quite possibly it's something from the inside. I don't know, but it was noticeable enough for this man to take a video, and right there he's pointing to the sky as it's noticeably a different color of blue. It's a darker blue than the rest of the sky.